Hey, Khaleesi. Can I help Daddy today? You're the special one that gets to come down here because you're probably the only one that won't run away while the other ones are up there. Anyway, this is about taking off all the panels to repaint or redip my Riker. See everything is here. I'm gonna jack up the front, put them on those. Put that to, to the back wheel just in case anything happens. It will be in the parking brake. Have a lot of the tools here that is needed, more than I need. The jack to get everything done. A nice little Kent canopy that I bought to dip my Rikers and more. So anyway, all this will be getting changed. The color will be changing. Um, it'll be red and black with ZGA over them both. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be fading it in to the black or the red fading into the black or use some graphics with dip to fade it in the black kind of like you know Thanos you know dissolving disintegrating but anyway this will be also included in being dipped anyway let's get started First thing we're going to do is we're going to take off this hood. This is the easiest part to take off, but you're not going to know how to do it unless somebody teaches you or shows you. So up here, you're going to have tabs that slide into this. That is what kind of guides it. And right down here, you're going to have tabs. What you're going to do is put your finger in here on each side and pull up and pull back towards you this way. It should come off no problem. So let's do that now. As you can see, so this is the tab that you're going to press down. So when it's in there, you just put your finger in there. You're pressing that down to get this unlatched from here. These right here are what are going to sit there and guide you into this. So just make sure that if you're having a problem, hard time getting this hood back on, that this lines up into this and these line up into this slot. You should be good to go. It should just snap right in easy and come right off easy. If it don't, don't force anything. Try to figure out what you're doing wrong because you don't want to break any tabs because they're not cheap or easy to get. Okay, we'll move on to other parts. So here we are. We're going to change out the, pa the panels. And a lot of you guys had your choice of panels that you could have got from the dealership. And maybe they put them on for you. Maybe they didn't. Maybe you had to learn how to do it yourself. But if you didn't, no, we're going to show you. So, yeah, bring up your tank lid. And then you're going to open up your tank cover, your gas tank cover. You take out this tab, this tab, and these two tabs. And then you're going to pull it away from you. And then it's going to pull off of the dark clips. So, we'll take a look at that now. you keep these. They're not hard to find. You can find them. So if you need a link or a place to buy more of these, you know, because these will fit. 
get this and since we're in the money, it could be a pain. Then you should just be able to pull it out. Then just click down here. You can pull that off. So here's this here. This is a dark clip. Those are notorious for breaking. And they're easy and cheap to replace by buying off Amazon. You do not have to buy these things from BRP or a dealership. If you buy them from the dealership, they're $3 each. I can give you a link for those if you need those too. In fact, I'll just put links to these things that I'm talking about that I mentioned links in into the video. Anyway, that's how easy that is to come off. We're gonna do the other side. Um, you just repeat the same thing for the other side that we did on this side. All right, so now we're gonna be removing the gas tank cover and this cover. And it's pretty simple. There's not really anything holding them down. The gas tank cover is held in by this. So once this bolt it down with the panel uh, clips and this is more secure and this is more secure because that's more secure this so easy you just pull it out when you need two hands on and that's how easy that is there's literally no no Clamps, nothing in there. Like I said, the only thing holding this in is this. The only thing holding this in is the front and this panel piece right here. So now for this piece. Now besides this piece holding this on with the panel. The other piece that's holding this on is that these clip in to the front right here. And so all you're doing is lifting this up off that. And the biggest thing you gotta worry about got all these wires that you have to get out of there so we're gonna get the toolbox out I mean the front I call it toolbox so I keep my tools in there we're gonna get the front out before we get this out this is a lot more difficult than you think because of these wires that have to fit into this little tiny slot so let's do the front next hold on like I said here's the front so we have these push pins, these push pins that were removed when we moved the side panels. We have these two areas up here that clip in to the front. And now we have on this side and this side T22, T20 screws, torque screws that we need to remove. Then once we remove this, then we have to go behind here. I would say that you need to get some really long um, needle nose pliers that can pull the plugs off of the USB port. So we're gonna do that now. Fire. 
this. in here. Uh, see that right there? So we're going to have to get that out. So like I said, it's easier with long you don't know those pliers than trying to fit your hand back there. Maybe you have small hands, I don't. So I wouldn't be able to do that comfortably. So like I said, just get some you don't know those pliers. Pull those plugs out. Now I will say that since I fabricated that case in the back of this Riker, really don't need that much storage. So with this frunk, I'm going to be cutting it to a more shallow thing so I can put all these wires for my LED lights, everything else that I run through here. You know, I have lights on the hood, I have the floodlights, I have LED lights throughout, and this makes it harder for the uh, front to go back in. It kind of sticks this up just a little bit because of that. So I want to take care of this when I'm redoing this. This is all heat wrapped, insulated, so all these wires and everything wouldn't get too hot. You know, all these LED wires wouldn't get too hot by the engine. But anyway, there's that. Now we're going to start up here with this. Hold on a second. I'll try to get you a real close up of this. So all these wires they clip behind this little tiny black piece. Um, I'll show you what it looks like when I get done. Probably going to trim that this time. Um, I don't see any reason to have that there. The wires moving. What's going to do? Move past the gas tank? Just makes it too really really difficult to get them out and get them in. I'm going to have to use the tweezers. Not tweezers, but uh. these things to get to get them out and then I'll show you what it looks like this is one of the hardest pieces to get out just because of that it's stupid so here we go on this side you gotta try to pull them through I mean, it doesn't make sense, but it doesn't make sense at the same time. I should just break those damn things. What are you doing, Khaleesi, huh? Come on, girl. I'm showing you how difficult this is, because unlike sling mods, I'm going to show you that this shit is difficult. Not like when they get everything undone, and then they act like they just, it was so easy to pull off. Don't trust sling mods installation videos. They're always harder than what they always say. when I start getting frustrated and just want to break it, but just be
there it goes. See these two? Maybe you can't. See these two pieces? Stupid ass pieces? Yeah, I'm gonna trim these up. But you take it out, you got the option of doing it your also, but it's just ridiculous how hard it is to get that out. Anyway, we'll move on to the next one. Okay, this is right air box. If you're sitting on the Riker, it's the right air box. Kind of like passenger side air box, you know what I mean? You're gonna turn this, open this. This would be a good time for you to clean your filter or get a new one. I know some of people you guys are gonna ask about this. This is on this 2021 Riker 900 Ace. I know some of you guys do not have this. I don't know why. You guys your dealer for it. I think it, on some other models, this did not come with it. But anyway, this is real simple. You take this, and do that, and then you're gonna push these. You're gonna push these in at the bottom to get them out of that, kind of like a uh, paper towel roll or whatever. But you're gonna go the opposite direction. You're gonna push them in to pull this out. Now this is out. It's off. Easy peasy. So now how to uh, remove this air box. It's just as easy or easier as the last one. This is on your left side if you're sitting down on the Riker or you would say driver's side if you're in a car. You got these right here. See my finger? This one and that one. So what you're gonna do That one down and lift it up and off. All right, let's get on to the next one. All right, as you can see, I got the screws out. These are longer screws than the regular because of the thickness that this skid plate does. But like I said, I won't be using this one at all. Um, one, I'm glad I don't have to get the dip off of these. And then the next uh, fascia that I dip, this is going to be covered all the way to about, I'd say, about a inch away or whatever these fins come to. Because this is going to be covered anyway with uh, a new LED grill that's going to go on the front of this that says, Why So Serious for my Joker theme. So, anyway, I'm not going to color these or uh, dip these anymore because it's just too much of a headache to take that shit off so anyway so we're gonna see how we pull it off hold on a second okay as you can see with the screws out this is just really loose so now you're just gonna pull down pull down part up here off and the whole thing comes off like I said 22 screws but as you can see see how this is cracked so if you don't have a skid plate you should get a skid plate you don't have to get any off of Can-Am you don't have to get any off of the dealership sling mods BRP none of that this is from SAU TV on Amazon I believe it was like a hundred bucks or less and it does what it's supposed to do why spend a lot more just to give this other company money SAU TV does a lot of great stuff these floodlights or fog lights are from SAU TV when this stuff right here is hundreds and hundreds of dollars for anybody else so I'll throw a link in there for this and the fog lights just in case you're interested but anyway, like I said, this one is going trash. This is coming off, going on the new one. I got two new fascias. And by the way, if you need anything like this, if you need a new piece, call a local dealer or a BRP near you. Have them order it for you. Do not order online. 
because to buy this is 80 bucks. To have it shipped to me is to about 200 bucks. So I'm paying way more just to get this shipped to me than all I did was call the BRP closest to me, ask them if they had a front fascia. I needed two, they had one, so I bought one that day, ordered the other one, all 80 bucks. And I didn't have to pay shipping because it was right there delivered to them on their normal truck. So it's a good tip for you. So anyway, this is off. There you go, like I said, what you see on here, uh, no skid plate. Um, it's going to crack this if you go over any bumps, speed bumps, go off to the side of the road. If it's uneven, you might crack in and uh, break your fascia. So might as well get this. Anyway, we'll move on. Here's your rocker panel. There's a push clip right here. Let's pull that push clip out. Push clip right there. And a push clip right there. Then you're gonna come up here, snap that off. And then this. Hold on a second. to do this up here hold on anyway I needed two hands got to pull this out and you got to slide it forward you can see this little lip here has to come up and out so you're gonna pull it forward and then just pull it off now here's how to take off this tank cover what you're gonna do These are all latched into usually with these pins, each individual one with a zip tie. I just did one zip tie for all three of them when I put it back together. Slides into all this right here to go back up. Just this one pin and that one pin. Then we're just gonna pull up on it and it will come right off. The first thing we have to do is undo these. Get these all out of here and then get this out. So hold on. All right, I hope you can see everything I'm doing here. My hands are pretty big, so hopefully they don't clog up the video. Anyway, just go and get yourself some nice rusty snips. Said you're gonna have three different one of these on these tabs. kind of like brackets in here so um, can't remember exactly how I did it but they do slide out of the brackets uh, when I get this one I'm gonna figure it out real quick how I did it before and then I'll come right back so anyway I'm just gonna take this off and try to get these wires off that way but you just take it off up here and you pull up Come on, snatch.
But anyway, I had to use a screwdriver. So they have these little tiny tabs right there. So you have to use the screwdriver to kind of like push this back and then get it over the tab because this is a little lip right here. I don't know if you can see that. And once you get it over the lip, then it will come off. It will slide off. And then when you go to put it back, you just slide it on and there will be no issue. But anyway, yeah, so you're just going to take... Anyway, so when it's on there, you're just going to take your screwdriver and put it right here in between those and this. You kind of like just twist it a little bit and then slide it off. Get it over little lip right there all right now to take off this part this is actually part of the frame I was going to take it off but it's going to take so much other stuff out so if you wanted to take this off to paint it or whatever it's got the two screws right here you have the two screws right there you pull it off you have to do it on both sides, so he screws all together. You can pull it off. You're going to pull this whole thing off. You're going to have to remove everything around this to get over the handlebars and all that stuff. I'm not trying to do that. Man. So that's how you could do it. I'm not going to do that. I guess I won't be painting this, and if I do, it will be on the record. And I do. I didn't paint it last time. That's fine because that's where the knees go anyway. And I, you know, and uh, I don't want the dip to be rubbed off just because of that. But anyway, that's it for this because I'm not taking the fenders off of either way because it's just easier for me to take it outside, use my wheel covers, and paint them while they're on there and I don't have to deal with any electrical stuff. The one thing I will say is that a lot of people have problems with their electrical upgrades. If you are not using dielectric grease to connect your um, lights or anything electronic, then you're going to have problems because that dielectric grease is what protects you from moisture, from from rain and stuff like that. It's not going to stop your ship from working. It's going to actually work with it. The currents go through it just fine. So, you know, Sling Mod always talks about it, and I looked it up, found out that that's what it is. But as you can see, I pulled off a lot of my old dip already. It's got it everywhere. And then I have to wash it all and, and get ready to get this all done. Anyway, there you go. Hope this helps anybody who is in need of this. I will. I can also send you this in a PDF file, which is from BRP. This is everything that you would possibly need to know about removing the shell. I, I got this from them, printed out a couple copies. Anyway, so on and so forth. It's just everything that you would need to know to remove everything correctly and what you have to do, like, you know, all this kind of stuff. Anyway, if you need anything like that, message me uh, and I'll get your email I can send it to you, but I also uploaded files like this into the Can-Am Riker, a few Can-Am Riker uh, Facebook groups. So you should be able to access it there also. But if you can't, just let me know. I'll help you out. If you have any questions, let me know also, and I'll do my best to help you out. And anyway, there you go. Hope this helps, like I said, and peace out. Through you, Mike. Got most of the dip off everything. Still have some. Remember, I, we're not using our old fascia, so that doesn't even matter. So I just have this one, this one, and this one to get the dip off, and the blowers. That's just going to be dip dissolver. But most of everything else, or either dips off, as you can see it on the ground, all the panels are off. Tomorrow I'll be washing it and getting it all ready for paint. Boom.